problem as well, even though it's a different problem, but um, just to show you the, the compare and contrast for these, uh, because these are again, um, I, th I think we've already done these problems, but we're doing them again, that's how important they are. And again, so in full transparency, the more, you know, like anytime you do a problem or a very similar problem twice, it's because I think it's important. Anyway, so now we have sodium hydroxide. And so we're gonna figure out the concentration of sodium hydroxide. And it's the same process. It's gonna be moles of sodium hydroxide divided by liters of solution. Okay. And uh, we're going to then find, let's see, so we need to do um, a molar mass. I'm gonna save a little space in here for that. And then we will be able to find the pOH. And then the next step will be to find the pH. Okay, so as a roadmap of our problem, we're going to use the information in the uh, problem statement to find the concentration of sodium hydroxide. Because sodium hydroxide is a strong base, the concentration of sodium hydroxide will be equal to the concentration of hydroxide itself. And then we can find pOH and pH. Um, so now we know our liters again. It's going to be 4.22. Our moles this time require that we find the molar mass of sodium hydroxide, which I think is exactly 40.00. So we know that we have 0 0.0204 grams. We know it's 40.00 grams per mole. And I don't know if you remember me saying this, but uh, way back in the day on like day one of this class, I said we were going to be doing at least 100, if not 200 of these molar mass things. Uh, so, so that's certainly coming to pass. All right, so 0.0204 divided by 40. I get 0 0.0051. Oh, 0 0.0051. And I'll add a zero because I like to keep three sig figs. Moles of sodium hydroxide. Plug that back into my moles up here. And my line is never long enough apparently for these as many zeros as I use. But now we can find our molarity of our sodium hydroxide. divided by 4.22, I get 0 0.000121 molarity sodium hydroxide. And let's see, what's my molarity compared to the last one? Pretty close, but because the molar mass is a little different, we get slightly different molarities. All right, and now uh, this is equal to our molarity of sodium hydroxide. And so our pOH is just the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide. And um, let's plug this in and talk about what number we get. So 0 0.000121 divided by 40, log, this is going to be minus 3.92, take away the minus sign, and you get 3.92, and pH is 14 minus pOH. And... Uh, 14 minus 3.92, 10.08. So, uh, and we can see that our pH is greater than 7. 
nope, greater than 7.00. Um, and we can also see, and I know this can be confusing, is that basically the process is exactly the same for the top portion, and then we add one more step to find pH. Sorry. Dr. Miller, this is what we were doing uh, for last week's recitation, right? Basically. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so, I mean, but that had limiting reactants in there. Then that had limiting reactants, which again, we're going to work through that again um, in this homework as well. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so it's, it's,